Welcome. This is part three of Coyote Sunset, an oil painting of a coyote looking over a, a sunset valley. Um, I worked on the underpainting or the underlayer wash yesterday. Now I'm going to be working on underpainting the sky. So I'll move the camera over so you can see what's going on for that. So, happy Wednesday, all. Good to see you. down slightly. All right, now this is all the wash layer. It's all dry. Now I want to paint, to basically just underpaint this area here. Underpaint the sky. So I know I'm going to need some white for that. Just a second while I grab my colors here. White. Same colors I have up here are what I'm going to be using. And yellow. And I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna use any medium in this uh, layer. And yellow gets a little bit of Indian yellow. Indian yellow. I'm not gonna put any skies in. Uh, I'm gonna put the sky, but I'm not gonna put it in any uh, clouds in yet either. What else do we have? We have a little bit of crimson red, lizard crimson, and a little bit of bluishness. Ultramarine. I'm using an ultramarine blue because that's kind of a a dark blue that you can use for it's better for sunsets, I think. Marine blue. Right, so I have my colors out here. <laughs> and <clears throat> grab a flat brush. Flat brush. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to start along the horizon where it's brightest. I'm going to ignore this is where the sun's going to be eventually. I'm going to paint over that. And I'm going to take a little bit of white. A little bit of yellow and make the color as close to the horizon. And I'm not using any reference photo for this. This is basically all, all uh, just imagination, really, in this stage. All right, so I'm going to use kind of like a figure eight stroke with the brush angled horizontal. I'm going right up to the horizon there, up to where those hills are going to be. Maybe overlap them just a little bit. Going over where the sun will be. Over the sun will be. Hard to <clears throat> follow, but just kind of follow it. Be 
you keep those notes really thick there. I don't want it to over too much here. Continuing with that color, you get a little bit more yellow over here. This area. <clears throat> Careful not to That's why it's good to have a brush that's nice and sharp like this because you can kind of get around these, these areas here. You don't want to cover up sometimes. There's areas. You kind of blend it out. A little bit yellower over here. I'm not using any medium whatsoever. I want the paint to be as opaque as possible, meaning you can't see through it. Where the sun is eventually going to be, that's where I want it. I want more white in that area, as opposed to yellow, because it makes it brighter looking. So we have that. Now oh, we're going to get into some little bit Indian yellow. Start to incorporate some of that color in there. Nice to have these nice rich colors on the canvas. And start to put this down as it around so much. And start to incorporate some of this Indian yellow, like sort of a little bit of a continuing on with the figure eight stroke. I'm sort of hugging that area where I put the yellow on, going right up to that area, blending into it a little there. I want to make this hill a little bit a different shape. I'm going to sort of go over it a little bit. I don't like the shape of that hill there. And make sort of a progression of color in there. All right, so more Indian yellow with less of that other yellow that I just put in. So I go along the side of that. So I'm sort of slowly progressing. Slowly progressing my colors. There. And a little bit of the paint, <clears throat> it's going to kind of show through underneath this one. Blend it into that previous color. <clears throat> okay, and I'm going to take a little bit of crimson red, losing crimson, and go into the color I was just using and mix it in there. And go around there. Around 
Just going right over this hill here. I like the shape of it anyway, so. All right, so now I'm gonna blend these two together a little. Make a little bit of a small variation of color in there. Most of it, I don't wanna to bring too much of the red that way. Now I'm going to go straight into the crimson red. I'm slowly varying the color as it goes up. Bring this up for a second so I can get into there underneath. Bright colors in this picture. picture. Blend it out so it fills all these little crevices where the canvas is, grains of the canvas. Red. Fill those grains there. All right, now I'll bring it into the previous area there and sort of blend it into that a little bit. Right, isn't it? Wow. Bring it bit down there. Be careful not to over. Now bring a little bit of blue into that color. Make a purplish color. Take a little bit of that and kind of overlap where I just put on there. Around. It sort of kills the brightness of that red that I just put on. So straight blue, ultramarine blue. Maybe a little bit of white with it just to kind of cool it off a little. And I'm gonna put in some of that up here. And a little bit over here. Overlapping the crimson I just put on. So, So we have our basic colors put on there. And I want it to be sort of a gentle progression. I'm going to take a fan brush, fan blender e blend brush, where it's nice and dry. I'm going to start where this yellow is here and sort of blend that. I'm just going straight over the the coyote here for now. Here, there. Get that off. Get that off there. And get hairs on the canvas. And go back and blend that out there. Starting down here and going up. Definitely don't go up, up and down. Maybe bring all the dark in. 
have to go in that direction from light to dark. And getting some hairs here because this is this fan brush is relatively new. Sometimes when your brushes are new, the hairs should. Yeah, just taking my time, I'm not in a rush to, to move upward. Everywhere that it needs to be blended. Blending, I'm never going down. I know I said that, but I'm just trying to remind myself to never go down. Keep blending, keep blending, take your time. The slow I'm doing it. Strain brush is a little bit firmer than it really should be for this. There are fan brushes that are a little bit softer. I'll probably try to get one maybe today. Because it tends to leave little brush strokes on there. All right, I'm going to go up to the dark there. Okay, so that blended it a little bit. I could wash this brush and try to do this again, but this brush, no matter how clean I try to get this brush, it's going to have a little bit of this paint in around here. So when I do that again, it's going to wreck this. All right. it's, it's not going to get completely dry unless I wait for it to dry. I'm going to take another brush. This is a soft blender brush. Okay, I'm just going straight in this part. Remember, this is still under painting, so there's going to be another layer on it. It's not right anyway. I'm just doing the same thing I just did with the fan. I'm just going to slowly, slowly, slowly work my way up. Nice soft bristles on this brush. Nice soft bristles so it doesn't give you too many brush strokes. There. Better blend in there. Don't bring it down, don't bring it down. It's tempting. Come in. Okay, so that has some paint on it, so I don't want to touch that again. Take another brush. I've already got a couple of these streaks here. I'm just going to get those out of there a little bit. Blend those up. That's a one inch brush. Okay, a little bit of a streak there. Notice how I'm changing brushes. I don't want to go back with the same brush. I don't need to get too crazy here because I'm, which I'm going to be putting in clouds on top of it anyway. And this is underpainting. So it's going to be another layer of paint plus clouds. So. All right, so that's good for now. It's better not to over touch it too much. You, you end up just wrecking it. So that's all I'm going to do with that. I'm just going to leave it like that. This is the underpainting of the sky. Underpainting of the sky. I'm going to hold it. So this is kind of a short video. And I think what I'm going to do next. Next, I'm going to start underpainting some of the foreground areas. So I'm working on that. And this, where I put this hill, I like I said, I said I was, uh, I didn't like the shape of it, but I don't know if I can change it now because even if I put a lot of, see how the opacity isn't covering that? So even if I put three or four more layers, it probably is not going to fix that anyway. So I'm just going to have to deal with that. Okay, so. That's where I am on this painting. And uh, please be sure to like, subscribe, share. It helps support my channel.
And thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.